Hey guys, so today I'm going to do another um, quick truffle box video. It's showing you how to ma marriage React and Truffle, which, while this tutorial is pretty simple, um, it's pretty popular because React is a pretty popular front-end development framework, and Solidity, um, which is the Ethereum programming language, or at least one of them, is getting pretty popular, especially all this Bitcoin stuff. Um, so while this is pretty simple, um, simplicity is pretty nice because then you don't have to, it's easier to learn. You don't have to go through all these side routes and learning or all these complications in the code. It's like the bare minimum that you need to know. Okay, so while I go through this tutorial, I'll just show you this link first. So a lot of React apps are created using this create React app. So if you're not familiar with React, um, this is where you usually start um, in order to start developing React. So I'm just going to go over the shuffle box, and if you watch some of my other videos, uh, this requires you to install shuffle, which shuffle is a test suite for Solidity, and it's a pretty nice quick start for Solidity because you get um, some test framework, you get some like contract migration, you get contract folders, you can add a front end relatively easily. It's pretty um, nicer way to get started than, in my opinion, the Remix IDE. Um, you get to run things locally, and you get to test locally, and it's just not all that complicated. So in this tutorial, uh, I installed Truffle already on my computer, and I did Truffle and Box React. And that's pretty similar to a git, um, a git command. So I got the code. Um, as you can see here, I did Truffle and Box React. It showed all this code, and then at the end you see that we got it was successful. Okay, and the code here um, has the normal folders. So contracts has your solidity contracts. You have your typical migrations one and you have just this it's called simple storage. You can see it's in the solidity tutorials too. But it's pretty much just it holds value and there's a getter and setter. Migrations are to migrate the contracts to a network. So you do as RFX require migrations.sol which is your first contract and you deploy the contract. Your second file uh, yeah you do the same thing. RFX requires simple storage deploy simple storage. Then you have your test code, and your test code, there's an example in JavaScript, and there's an example in Solidity, and this is pretty simple. You import your simple storage contract. You store that as a Java var JavaScript variable, so you can do simple storage, and this deployed address has got the simple storage, and then this is setting the value to 89, and then you're just doing an assert to say, okay, now I expect the value to be 89 when I do a get. And this get is the same get as um, this get over here. And the same thing happens in JavaScript. So, and then the most interesting part, since this is a React tutorial, is this JavaScript client code. So, client, then source, and then a lot of the code is this app.js. And then you can see here um, there's some imports for simple stores.json. And you don't see the JSON, but let me, you'll, this is this JSON file is created automatically by the Solidity compiler. And I'll show it to you as I compile. Actually, I'll just run that right now so that I don't waste time later. So I'll do a Truffle develop. Truffle develop um, opens your Truffle development environments. Um, the most noteworthy thing is that it gives you a bunch of um, test Ethernet, uh, test Ethereum accounts. So you have 10 accounts with like 100 um, Ethereum each. And now you also have, it's on a development network at this low cost. A4, A545. So this is a test network you can connect to. Um, if you're in the development environment, you can just do compile instead of, if you're out of style, you have to do truffle compile. Um, and this should generate the JSON files I just mentioned. Um, this contract simple store is JSON. Yeah, this folder just appeared right here. And this is the JSON that gets populated. It's a bunch of contract information. Um, a lot of stuff for such, such a short contract. Um, in here, there's some basic stuff. You need Web3 to connect to your Ethereum network, uh, which is the network I mentioned in your Truffle Develop environment, the localhost 8545. Um, you're getting some accounts. You're using the simple storage. Um, yeah, you're setting the value, and that's mostly it. It's a very simple um, piece, of, piece of code. Um, okay, 
So I did shuffle compile. So I compiled. You see that migrations and simple storage compiled. I'm going to do migrate, and migrate will migrate to that locus. A545 Ethereum network and the migrations again are in the migrations folder, which is these two JavaScript files will get executed. Um, and it's done. So both of them, one and two, were um, ran. And this was a cost because it does cost Ethereum to migrate. Um, and then now we can actually run the web app. So it doesn't do much. Um, you have to do it outside of your Truffle develop. We're in Truffle develop here, so I'm doing it outside of that. I'm going to go into the client folder and then do npm run start. And then while I'm waiting for that, um, I'm just going to run this test command. This will run our Truffle test just to save some time. So nothing showing up at the moment. Let me so refresh. Oh, I'm getting this warning here. Seems kind of slow. Maybe it wasn't the best idea to do this at the same time. Yeah, I think that they were slowing each other down. All right, so this ran, and then now you see that this front's good to go. Um, yeah, and then it's since it's a tutorial, it says, why don't you try change this line 40 to some other value? Um, that line 40 is in source app.js line 40. Um, I think they actually mean line 42, but yeah, just change that 5 something else. Um, but it's currently printing out the stored value as 5, so it's doing a print statement. Okay, and then I'm just going to go back to that test thing that we ran. So this test command just ran our, our test simple storage and sim simple storage um, in this folder, so these two files. Okay, I think that's pretty much it. Let me just double check. Um, yeah, there's a build command. Um, that's for production stuff. When you do a front app, you have to be able to build it. Um, I'll run that, but it's not really that important. npm run build. Okay, so that's it. Hopefully this helps someone who just wants to get started with React and Shuffle. Thanks, have a great day guys, bye.